It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Iger Brewery Little Bro Session IPA coming in at 4.7% ABV. What a lovely looking can. Love the design on this can label. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. 360 can opening, so you're gonna hear a big crack now. Woo! Love that. So you can basically, if you want to, drink it straight from the can. I'm not going to, of course, I wanna review it for you guys. I want you to see it, see what kind of head it builds in the glass. Oh, it's built a nice head, look at that. You can pick this beer up from alesbymail.co.uk. If you check the link in the description box, you'll see a link to their website. That's where we got the beer today. Uh, a lovely, hazy, golden coloured ale with nice levels of moving carbonation up the side of the glass. It's a three finger white head. It looks very, very nice. Very nice. I'm a big fan of Iger's beers. I've had a lot of them now. And well, I've started to drink their cans and I think their cans have, even though the bottles were fantastic, I think the cans have just stepped that step that level up in quality just that little bit more as it did with beaver town when they started canning their beer that jump up in quality it was just fantastic right aroma on this slightly hazy golden colored ale <laughs> blimey session ipa it smells like a, a six percent full-on banging ipa to me Lots of piney citrus notes, grapefruit, mango, orange peel, lemon peel, a little bit of blood orange. It smells wonderful. Should we dive in? Cheers. Oh. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what an awesome beer. There's a lovely, lovely, and it's making me smile. It's making me stand here and smile in front of the camera. There's a lovely longing bitterness to this beer that's got piney and grapefruity notes to go with it on the back end. It's very citrusy. But to begin with, you get this big, sweet, malty backbone. It's not too big. You don't want your session IPAs or your IPAs to have too much of a big malty biscuity backbone because you want that hot flavor to come through. But there is a level of balance to this beer at the same time. It's just goodness. It just, it's just a really good, honest take on a session IPA. The citrus levels, the, 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 the orange, the tangerine, the blood orange, the, the grapefruits, the, the little bit of lemon peel, orange peel in there, the, that longing bitterness on the back end. The mouthfeel, let me talk to you about the mouthfeel. The mouthfeel is fantastic. It's an easy drinking, I mean, oh, I, I could chug that in five minutes, I really could. And then I would, I, I would want another one. I would want just another one and just, it's the ultimate, sometimes in my, I do a lot of different things in work. Um, sometimes I do office jobs, sometimes I work on building sites and, and, and other, amongst other things, sometimes I work in supermarkets. Um, and it's the times I think when you've had a really big day, a really hard day in a supermarket or, or a really hard day at the office or likewise a really hard day on a building site when you're covered in dust and dirt and you want something just to kind of clean you, clean you out from the inside out. And this would do that. This would make you smile after, after the end of a long working day. And I think that's a lot of the point of beer, is to socialize, meet your friends, have a beer, and of course, revitalize your soul. Mm. 
it's lovely. And again, on the side of the can, we have water, malted barley, hops and yeast. That's all that's in the, in the can. Uh, big description then about the beer. I don't think they've talked about, they've talked about grilled food and spicy dishes. Not too much on the hops that they've used in the beer, but I mean, it's probably got some Centennial, some Simcoe, some Amarillo. It's that kind of juicy, citrusy, bitter beer that, that I, I like and, and is by goodness me, it is it is punching its weight above being a session IPA. Let's rate it. Iger Brewery Little Bro Session IPA, 4.7% ABV rating. I'm gonna give it, I, I like that enough to give it a nine out of 10. It's a nine out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Check out alesbymail.co.uk. Um, please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.